look crazy yet again on camera. I was just testing out this lipstick. I was not wearing this today like this. Um, because I'm gonna wear it tomorrow, I think. And yeah, new hair, but it's old. I wore this at my cousin's wedding last year. Um so I'm just gonna let you guys get unready with me because I did go out today, I did do my nails today, um, and I was gonna go out, but then it started snowing and me and snow it's gonna be it's freezing today like it's in the 20s and it feels like 16 degrees so it was it was a no-go for me so um, I'm just gonna get unready I have to do a lip scrub because if you guys look closely I know you'll see like the texture in my lips sorry um, I feel like I'm getting a mustache too I don't know I can't remember the last time I removed my mustache so I'm gonna do that and what else am I going to do? A face mask just to like smooth out my skin. So I just want to slay tomorrow. I'm in the mood. My skin is looking not the greatest at all. Um, my stuff from Boohoo finally came. I ordered it on Cyber Monday while I was watching Justice League because I wanted to make sure, you know, I get it at the 60% off. I just ordered a faux fur coat and some booties and I'm going to show you guys that tomorrow. I'm wearing it tomorrow anyway. And that thing took forever. Then the post office wants to say that, oh, I wasn't available to be, for it to be delivered this morning at 824 when I was definitely home. They didn't ring the bell. They never delivered that early anyway. So I went to the post office this evening and it was there usually if they actually tried to deliver it or they had it on the truck it wouldn't be in the post office it definitely was right there in the post office because since last night it should have been delivered and it just never came but thankfully I needed it for tomorrow and not today or else I would have been mad um so yeah let me stop scaring you guys and let's get on ready together yeah Probably shouldn't have left it in the oil so long. But I'm hoping to get like the chunky pieces of that skin off. And I'm trying not to do this in my upper lip because I'm about to nair it. I'm trying not to swallow. <laughs> Taking some tissue. I'm doing all this before washing my face. And I use brown sugar, um, like not domino brown sugar, but like demerara sugar. Got some in my mouth. Let's see. I feel like they're that's the dead skin. This probably looks so weird to you guys. That worked pretty well because my lips feel so much smoother. I stuck way too well for that. I should have done it a long time ago. Um, of course, the olive oil helps it feel smoother. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I look so interesting right now. But anyway. Now I'm going to wash my face. My current cleanser is... Anyway. The La Roche-Rosé <laughs> Epiclair Purifying Foaming Gel Cleanser for Oily Skin. And I'm about to... I like to rinse my face with warm water. And then um, apply the cleanser. We'll see. Okay, ooh. I'm actually looking at my camera right now because you guys are inside of my medicine cabinet so I can't 
put a dry bar out here. Anyway, I have to make sure I rinse that all off. I didn't have my makeup today besides that lip that I just tried out. So yeah, um, really bar. Mask, I'm gonna use the Origins uh, Retexturizing Mask. And I had to apply it with a foundation brush. This stuff is balm. I do this twice a week at most, but I like switching up my mask. I just realized something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do my mustache in the morning or in that area because um, I wet my face. Hello, I was supposed to do that before, but it's fine. So remember to do it before I leave for the gym. And I found out I don't have rehearsal tomorrow, so this kind of lit because now I don't have to wake up as early. So I have really no excuse for not going to the gym. Um, because I have to leave my house to go to the event at like 3:30, so. A little bit of this mask goes a long way. But honestly, I can't tell how I'm showing it. I do want to put some on my neck. I'm wearing my mustache because I'm doing there in the morning. But I like to put it on my neck. I do have this coloration on my neck. And I like to exfoliate my neck. You guys are probably like, yo. Sorry, I'm like crouching down so you guys can see me. <laughs> okay. And honestly, this makes such a difference in my skin. My pores are about to be lit. Everything's about to be lit, right? Um, let me just look at the mirror. Okay, I think I'm good to go. And I have like a pimple growing over here, so that's covered. Privacy of the nose, etc. Wonderful. So now I'm gonna let that sit for like, what is it supposed to be, 10 to 15 minutes? Just 10 minutes. Did you do like 15? Because, yeah. And I'm just gonna rinse that off and I guess I can show you guys what I do. The other stuff I use. You know, I mentioned some of them in my recent um, dry skin for winter video or how to okay, how to combat dry skin <laughs> in the winter. I'm gonna let this dry and I'll come back to you guys later in a bit. It feels like it's been 10 minutes. I'm just gonna wash off this mask and I'm just gonna do my moisturizing and that'll be it. Really quick. I feel like this the whole time. It's sweater, right? I can't really see anything. It's sweater. Remove my bone. I'm washing my hands again first because I'm just like that. Okay guys, so I always finish off with a cold rinse and I usually dry my skin with a paper towel, which I forgot, I believe. Yes, I'll be right back. I'm gonna towel. I'm back. So I am gonna tone my skin with the Derma E Radiance Toner. It has glycolic acid and roy bones. I don't know how to pronounce that. And I just like to use these cotton pads. Let's put some of that on there. And glycolic acid is supposed to even out your skin tone. As you guys can see, I have dark spots that were worse, so I'm definitely working on them. I just apply this in a circular motion on my face. Not too rough. I lightly put, apply it underneath my eyes too. It's because I, I know that people don't really exfoliate underneath their eyes, and then I feel that <laughs> can be part of the problem with like discoloration. So yeah, I put it on my neck, and yeah. So I'll show you guys that. It's pretty nasty, but it's really like dead skin. My lips feel so dry, so I'm about to apply some lip balm to the kills. Number one lip balm. Shout out to. The people who gave this to me for free that were gonna kills because without them I wouldn't have had this <laughs> for sure um okay so I'm just letting that toner kind of dissipate a little bit into my skin that like gave me life though putting on that lip balm you can see my lips look pretty pink right now that exfoliation really woke up my lips which I needed I'm gonna do my eyes next this is actually a cream moisturizing bra from Belief but I'm gonna use it under my eyes because they get extra dry since it's winter and I'm not about that life. I'm not about dry under eye life. So, especially at night, I'll apply this. In the daytime, I'll use my um, Pure Lease eye serum, but at night, because really what eye cream is, is just like a heavier cream. That's all. And this is pretty thick. 
pretty perfect compared to what I usually use for my under eyes anyway. And then I always apply it right here because I knit my brow a lot. I do this. That's what knitting your brow is. <laughs> that's what my parents call it. So that's what I call it. So I like to put this here to help like keep that from getting super, you know, staying there when I'm not doing that. Because they're trying to avoid Botox. Yeah. So next, <laughs> I'm going to take the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. And this is just a dropper. So basically you pick it up. I take about that much product. And I'm going to put this in my hand. And then I'm going to massage it between my hands. And then massage it on my face and neck. Sometimes I do put it on my under eye area, but not all the time. I can put a little bit more. My neck. Supposed to massage it into your skin, so that's what I'm doing. Because I have big cheeks, I tend to focus on my cheeks, and I always have to remember. To remember the outer room of my face too. I'm gonna try to like massage this area. And always an outward motion. This is all about anti-aging and I like to massage right here. Yes, okay. And lastly, I'm gonna apply the Cause RX Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spot Mask. This is my sister's, but I've been using it. I didn't buy it, but you know. We actually share skincare, so it's fine. There's not much stuff in here, but this is nice. I do want to get the Laneige, like I was saying in my skincare video on the dry skin. I want to get the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask again because that thing is just everything. But this is pretty nice. I'm just applying it all over my face and my neck. And I'm not going to sleep for a while. I'm going to try to edit this tonight so I can go up in the morning. Um, yeah. So really massage it in. Looking all blowy. I let this really sink into my skin before I go to bed. I know my skin texture is going to be popping tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is it for this video. That's my nighttime skincare routine. Thanks for getting unready with me. Thanks for watching Vlogmas. See you tomorrow. I'm going to look cute tomorrow. Well, tomorrow afternoon. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.